Hey, what's up? It's Cooper. I'm here with Duluth Police Officer Ron Tinsley. Beautiful day here in Duluth. It's only, what, 73, 74 degrees here on top of the hill? Set on the, the, uh, the in the car. So a very nice day, beautiful day, kind of a standard uh, summer day here in Duluth. Now, the thing is, uh, during the summer, even on relatively cool days like this, it can get hot inside of a vehicle fast. You got the windows up, and of course, there's a concern about pets or children and uh, getting cooked out basically, which can be very dangerous obviously, because it gets very hot very quickly in a vehicle like this. So on a day like today, when it's not even 80 degrees, we're gonna jump inside and see how long it takes for us to get pretty much ready to go and get out because it's gonna get hot inside. So we're gonna go and we're gonna find out what happens. So right now we have a thermometer in there and with the windows down, we're at 100 degrees. So we've been venting it out to make sure it's not too hot. He's just got the windows down, cooling it off, and like you said, 100 degrees right now. So that's, that's our starting point. Right. We're gonna go see how long it takes until we just can't take it anymore. Alright, so windows up. I was getting ready to buckle up. I'm so <laughs> used to getting in the vehicle. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna start a timer here and let's see what happens. So we're coming up on 30 seconds right now with the windows being up and it's feeling pretty stuffy and already. I, I mean, we're at 103.6 with the, the windows up. So three degrees in a matter of 30 seconds has gone up. Yeah, about, about that. You know, the thing you gotta remember is that, you know, during the during the summertime, it doesn't have to be warm. You know, we're at 73 degrees on the, the uh, temp and, you know, even if you have, I had the windows completely down Having them cracked is not going to give you that airflow that comes through the, through the uh, windows to cool it down in here. All right, so it's almost eight minutes now, and it's... And we just climbed another degree, so we're at 109. 109 right now. Yeah, so it's, like you said, almost a degree a minute. So coming up on kind of that time frame of about a short trip into a store. So even sitting at 110 degrees now. Right. Um, for less than 10 minutes. It, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm very uncomfortable. I could, yeah, I can imagine. Um, and, and for me, not being dressed up where you are, just kind of wearing casual light clothing um, at almost nine minutes and almost 110 degrees, it is getting to a point where that, that uncomfortable scale and that, that feeling like it's, it's just hot and sweaty, it, it's really climbing fast. So that's 13 minutes right now. And I would say on that level of discomfort, for me not being vested up in full uniform here, I, I would say that that level of discomfort is getting into the the six seven range in terms of where you want to start thinking about getting out of the vehicle for sure. At 113. Well, and I'll tell you what, I ain't driving another road like this. No, absolutely yeah. not. <laughs> so absolutely I, not. I I can't even imagine you know, if it was any warmer outside. Right. How much faster this would be going? I mean, we're we're getting to 115 at the um, at roughly the 15 minute mark here. What are we at? Yeah, 15 and a half minutes, and it feels like somebody is just constantly turning up that thermostat. And it's, I would say, in that discomfort, if I were to give it a ranking, probably in that seven to eight range right now, it just feels hot. Just because they're seeing us actually sitting in here at 115 degrees. And now I can uh, I can tell you now it's affecting me now right. I mean, I'm starting to breathe harder. Yep, um, it's a little bit more difficult. Absolutely, yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult almost, to it's breathe. Almost, and... It's almost actually more difficult to think because you're thinking so much about just how, how hot, hot it, is it is and uncomfortable you are. Absolutely, right. Yeah, I don't know how much. I mean, where are we at? 16 and a half minutes right now, and uh, the temperature continuing to go up. We're we're getting uh, into that 115 to 116 range, kind of in the middle right now. And I can see beads of sweat kind of running down your face a little bit. It's it's uh, it's certainly very uncomfortable. And okay, so I'm on my cell phone now because our GoPro camera got too hot to continue operating. It popped up a warning message saying that it got too hot to work. So that's a sign right there. If the GoPro says it's too hot, it's probably too hot for you to be in here as well. I mean, we're looking at. We just hit the 20 minute mark. We're at 117. We're at 117. The temperature has stopped climbing quite as much, but it's certainly very uncomfortable. I'm very sweaty, very hard to breathe. And this is, I mean, 20 minutes, that's a, that's a pretty standard trip into a grocery store. Right. Um, you know, 20 minutes easy, you know, between shopping and, and, and being in line and everything else. We're at 21 minutes right now. It's 118 degrees and I think I think I've hit my, my max right now. I think this is about where it gets to a point where it's just, it's so hard to breathe. I don't think we need to go any further. No, I think the point has been proven. I think it's very hard to breathe. 
Um, I am I'm just dripping wet right now, and you are, are very visibly sweaty as well. I mean, it's it's uh, it's not a comfortable situation. It's only 20 minutes, and it's only 74 degrees outside, um, which is not not all that hot outside. So imagine, if you will, on a warmer day. So just remember, you know, as an adult, and us doing this kind of this experiment that I can open this. You door. have that option. Whereas a child in the restraint seat, especially in the restraint seat, can't do that. Right. Uh, dogs can't do that. Right. You know, so. That air feels amazing. Oh, by the way. good gracious. Oh, thank you for watching. Be safe this summer. Thank you, Ron. All right.